He's able to get his wrist back after losing his wrist and sink him in the hook there. Super impressive stuff. Oh, just look at that in the strap. The side pressure just pushes Marcy off the pad. Yo guys, so I just came across a video of the Arnold Classic arm wrestling competition and I saw some people stand out in these matches who deserve a shot at East versus West. Main dude was Kevin Palco. This dude, I've been watching this dude for a while on YouTube. This dude's an absolute monster at 154 and he actually ended up winning uh, his whole class at 154. This is one of the matches that was just uploaded on 217, which is a great arm wrestling channel by the way, but man, he's looking super impressive. And Roman Gromov, another like really highly skilled guy, 154 pounds in America, one of the highly ranked guys. <clears throat> what Kevin, this guy just been on an absolute upward trajectory in the past two years. I've been following his videos, his matches and stuff. Dude's a beast. And he's very unconventional with his style too, watch this. Roman with the very, very nice top ball, able to take the hand, but even with the hand back, Palco very tight in the strap there, staying connected and using side pressure, staying nice and tight. You can see all the veins in his forearms. This dude is jacked. This dude is built for arm wrestling. This dude trains hard. And that's a good match. You can see the red line on his face. That's a maximum effort right there. He's able to get his wrist back after losing his wrist and sink him in the hook there. Super impressive stuff, look at this. And he ended up winning that match. And not only that, but here's a video from uh, Arm Shark Arm Wrestling, by the way, you can watch it on their channel, but this is the final match against Gromov where he wins the, the championship here. I think he won on fouls. I believe this is that same exact match. You can see the 217, I think the guy's name is Brad, he films it, but um, Roman ends up Elbow fouling, Kevin wins, which is, that's huge. That was absolutely phenomenal performance. So, I mean, I think he probably deserves a spot in East versus West. It's awesome that right now the East versus West qualifiers are going on around the U.S. So we're going to see some big names go to that, uh, the East versus West qualifier finals, which I believe is in Virginia. I don't know the exact date on that. I think that's in June or July. So we're going to start to see who's actually qualifying for East versus West. But, I mean, guys like this are surely... Uh, should be competing in those events for sure. <clears throat> so, I mean, he was one of the standout performances when I watched this. Also, Pavlo, once again, Pavlo competed the week before, and he's back already arm wrestling and just completely dominating. Here, here was against Marcio Barboza, 242 weight class right here. They've chosen to start in the referee script. Marcio on your left, Pablo on the right. Uh, both these guys, many-time world champions. There's a slip. The They're right going into the straps. The elbow foul on Marcio. Man, El Marcio's got to work on those elbow fouls. Every time I watch a match from him, it's always some type of foul drama. Like, man. Dude is so strong, but he fouls a lot. This is the final match here, the 242 pound weight class. Oh, just look at that in the strap, the side pressure just pushes Marcio off the pad. And that's the win for Marcio, or excuse me, Pavlo. Incredible, incredible. So. Yeah, standout performances for me were Marcy, or uh, Pavlo and Kevin. Those guys look very, very good in the Arnold Classic, and I would love to see them in East versus West. I think Pavlo could potentially go against someone. I think after his match against Sabin, he was talking about staying in the 240 to 250, 260 range. I think he was pretty big. He was about 265 or 270 when he went against Sabin. He looked so good in the first two rounds, but... I uh, just didn't have the endurance, his wrist started to go. But I'd like to see him go against some top 240 guys, 250 guys at East versus West, potentially guys like Prudnik, guys like, uh, I don't know if he's ready for Prudnik, but maybe some of the other top guys at 240. I'm not entirely sure who would be a good option. Maybe someone like Sandris, I'm not too sure. But you guys can leave some suggestions in the comments. And then also, what do you think about Kevin? Dude's a, dude's a monster. If you haven't heard of him, go to Kevin Palco Arm Wrestling. This guy, this guy's a true arm wrestler, very passionate about the sport. You can just tell he competes all the time. Um, and also, 
some other standout performances uh, were. <clears throat> let me go to it. Let me go to it. There was. Let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah, this dude. I don't know this dude's name. I think his name is Dustin, but he went against Luke Kent. This is a young dude. I think he's probably about my age, and he looked super impressive. He ended up getting second, but he was doing some real damage to to Luke there and you can see after the match here I believe he lost on fouls let's see <clears throat> yeah elbow elbow off the front there lost on fouls but you can see Luke definitely showing him his respect after the match right here just take a look I mean the kid is the kid is super strong so it's just awesome the future generation of arm wrestling guys like Kevin guys like that Dustin dude um, and then Pavlo just continuing to tear it up. The guy has been tearing it up for a while now, so I'd love to see more action from Pablo in competition because he does a lot of tournaments, but I would like to see more super matches from him, East versus West potentially. He was just in King of the Table, but what do you guys think about that? Leave a comment. I'm out. I'll catch you guys later.